हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स एंड स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन एक्चुअली डेवलप योर स्पीड टेन टाइम्स फास्टर इफ यू वॉच एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑल दीज वीडियोज अपलोडेड ऑन द चैनल हियर वी हैव अ स्पेशल वीडियो फॉर अवर जूनियर स्टूडेंट्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रोमन न्यूमरल्स एंड little bit of expansion using brackets before i take up the topic let me tell you about the best offers going on right now on suresh agarwal's mathematics uh, shortcuts we have the complete ebook of short tricks in which there are around 350 short tricks which are you know arranged in 24 different topics and uh, video support is also given with that we have the complete reasoning course with video support we have the cbsc practice worksheets of class 6 to 10 complete sets and some of the classes are with video support vedic maths we have come up with the beginner level course so if you want to upskill yourself in the summer vacation and spend your time wisely then this vedic maths video course will help you out this contains around 60 videos and 115 worksheets for getting all these stuff you need to send me a message on whatsapp Nine eight nine six three six double nine six three. That's the easiest way of getting to these content. Otherwise, you can visit my website www. sureshagarwal. in, or you can download our app. This is called Learning Loop. You will find validity based content on this Learning Loop app. So, friends, what do we have in this video? So, there are some numbers written here: ninety one, one seventy, and two fifty nine. So, I need to convert these numbers. into its roman equivalent now how do we convert it into roman equivalents you should know the basics obviously and if you know the basics this is not going to consume much time let's take the first example in which i am going to take up 91 so 91 is basically 90 plus 1 which i can write as 100 minus 10 plus 1 why did i do that because in roman uh, numerals we have a alphabet for 100 alphabet for 10 and alphabet for 1 but we don't have an alphabet directly for 90 so my intention is to convert them into 1 10 100 likewise it can be 50 also now once you have done that 100 minus 10 100 is actually c and 10 is x so c minus x plus i i is 1 whenever you subtract something from a bigger number in roman numeral what do you do you always write that in front of this so what happens to this c minus x becomes x c and then it is suffixed by this 1 or i x c i is the roman equivalent of 90 1 let's see the second question now we have a 170 here and once you know that the number is a base number like 170 it ends in a zero then you can write its roman equivalent very easily what you have to do is to break it in the form of 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 that's 170 and you should know 100 is c plus the Deno uh, how do you denote 50 in in terms of Rom roman numbers that's important and you should know that this is l and then x and x so what happens here there is no negative sign so we can write them in the same order c l x x becomes the roman equivalent of 170 likewise if you have to convert 259 to its roman equivalent what do we have to do here is 200 is 100 plus 100 and now how do you write 59 59 is 50 plus 9 but i don't have a roman number for 9 so i will write 9 as 10 minus 1 and now let's write the roman equivalents 100 is c this is also c this is l plus this is x minus i and i told you whenever you have to subtract what do you do there c c l that is fine here i is to be prefixed so i x and this becomes 
the Roman equivalent of 259. Very interesting, right? And very easy also. Let's see the other way around. So if you have a Roman number given here, XLVII, which you have to convert in terms of the number, the numeral, you have to write the number for this. What do you do here is, this is XL. X is 10 and L is 50. So this XL is to be written together and V plus I plus I. Now X is smaller than L. So I will write L50 minus X10. And then remaining part V is 5 and this is 1 and this is 1. Now once you do this, your number is in the next step. This is 40 plus 5, 45, 46, 47. And therefore, this is the Roman equivalent of 47. Likewise, let's see LXXXI. Now for this one, that's pretty easy actually. L is 50, right? And X is 10. So 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 because there are three X's here. And I, I means 1. Now there is no negative numbers here, so you can directly add it and get to the numeral. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 81. That is the Roman uh, LXXXI uh, and the number is 81. Friends, these things are not at all difficult, but you should be really, really sharp. You should be really aware about what is X, what is L, what is V, what is I, C, D, M, etc. Let's see the use of brackets. 43 and 607, I have to multiply these two numbers. So I'll write 43 as 40 plus 3 and 607 as 600 plus 7. Multiplication becomes easier when the numbers are very close to the base. Likewise, here you can see 107 and 113. You can write 107 as 100 plus 7 and 113 as 100 plus 13. And now we can use the distributive property to get to our answer. If you multiply 40 by 600, you get 24,000. Then if you multiply 40 by 7, you get 280. And then you multiply 3 by 600, you get 1800. And finally, you multiply 3 by 7, you get 21. And all you have to do is to add these numbers to get to our final answer. You can see 0, 0, 0. So we have a 1 here. This gives us 1 in the unit place. 2, 0, 8 is 10. 10 means 0. A 1 carry. Third digit, 8 plus 1, 9. 10, 11. 11 means 1 and a 1 carry. Fourth digit, 1 plus 1, 2. Plus 4, 6. And finally we have this. So 26101 is the product of 43 and 607. Distributive property works here for us. Let's see this 100 times 100. When you multiply this, you get 1 followed by 4 zeros. 100 times 13 is 1300 and 7 times 100 is 700. 1300 plus 700 is 2000. And finally, 7 times 13 is 91 and now 10,000, 12,000, 91, 12091 will be the required answer. So you can see use of brackets and the distributive property helps us in solving these type of multiplication problems very very easily. Friends, if you are liking all these videos, do share it with all your friends. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this and all the best.